Street art is a core part of Montreal's soul and identity. Since 2013, every year in June, the city hosts something called the Mural Festival. During this festival, artists from around the world gather in the city for 11 days to repaint some of Montreal's biggest walls and change the colors of the city. So we decided to give a tribute to the city by sharing this part of Montreal's culture. One of the most prominent street artists that has taken part in the Mural Festival since its inception is What Is Adam, aka W.I.A. W.I.A. is an anonymous street artist, known for taking North American wildlife and morphing them by placing them in a modern setting. There is one piece in particular that he is best known for, the maple scissor can. Taken from the classic Canadian maple syrup can, WIA added a twist to it, with a reference to pop culture, naming it Maple Scissorp. WIA is a good friend of mine, and he allowed us to come with him and his friends to do a big hit on Montreal. His goal for that night was to paste his maple scissor piece on the trash bins located throughout the mountain. His overall purpose was to turn something as trivial as a trash can into a piece of art. So the earphones are basically because uh, I will dial you on the phone, mm -hmm. and then we can stay communicating that way. Okay. So you might be, it might be done in an hour, it might be done in like three hours, I don't know. I hope they stay, last time they lasted like two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. He explained to us his perspective on street art in general and his personal philosophy. I, I do a lot of stuff that's like stereotypical Canadian imagery. Yeah. So like, you know, deers, buffaloes, like all this American wildlife. Yeah. But then I've always lived in the city. I've mm -hmm. always lived in Montreal. So for me, it's kind of ironic because I like I didn't grow up seeing these animals. I, mean, yeah. I had to go looking for them, <laughs> going outside yeah. the city. And so when I draw the animals, they're always like, like the deer is a prostituting deer because Saint Laurent for the longest time was where yeah. prostitutes used to, yeah. you know, used to get picked up and stuff. And so, in an attempt to make the city more beautiful, we were on our way. We found a first can very easily, but quickly realized that the city had replaced most of them with plastic squared trash cans instead. To find cans, we had to walk around the entire hill for several hours, but we ended up pasting 21 cans. I knew Warhol did like the the Temple Soup, yep. and so I thought it would be fun to do a uh, Quebec version and do the maple syrup, I would do the maple scissor and like, yeah. you know, the yeah. Wayne reference <laughs> so and cool. make it like pop culture reference, that kind of stuff. that's why I did it. And it caught on really quick, like people just started recognizing and now I have the rights to that image. Like, so it, it, there's nothing politically motivated by what I do, yeah. so it's different. But American street art, a lot of what we see it is not at all politically much more driven by humor and by artistic nature, usually a, a, a boredom. Most other places use street art for political motivation and to spread the word because they can't, you know, they don't have the internet and the social media that we do. It's different. Though, to our great surprise, our main predator for the night was dozens of raccoons protecting the food. Throughout this experience, we kept wondering one thing. Why doesn't the city hire him to make all of Moriel's trash cans look this beautiful? See you tomorrow.